Luke, Chris Donovan at the Elwood Park Driving Range and today I'm going to talk to you about practice and how to do it and how I think is the best way to go about it. This is what I generally see. As fun as that might be, coming down the range, grabbing 100 balls, smashing drivers the whole time. Great fun, don't get me wrong, the best part. But, if you're actually trying to improve your golf at all, it's really just exercise. This is what I really recommend that you do. If you've got some technique stuff to work on, work on that. Spend maybe the first 50 balls really working on that. Spend the next 50 on hitting different targets, trying to hit different shots, trying to actually work on some shots that you might need on the range. So I've now got wedge out, and I might go for the 100 side first up. And I'll actually watch it finish so I know whether it was any good or not. Next I might hit six on, and I'll change targets. Now, if you want to go through full pre-shot routine, go right ahead. I think that's, that's probably a good thing. I understand space might be an issue there. But then I'll change targets. I'm going to go over to a flag on the left-hand side of the range now. And again, I'll watch it all the way to the end. But the idea is is that you're constantly changing club, constantly changing target, constantly changing shot, so that you're actually working on something, so you've actually got some more shots to take the golf course, because there's going to be a day where you're going to have strong wind into you, and you're going to have 100 metres, and pitching wedge or sand wedge ain't going to get there. So, I might grab my 99, put it back in my stance a little bit, Keep it low, try and hit 100 metres, even try and hook it in there a little bit. These are some good shots to work on when you're down at the range when you've got some extra time. Thanks, hope to see you down here soon.